What is good guys, we are back with game 2 between Zuchtres and Ketut. We missed the start, they just exchanged hazards, um, Rocks Clef and Rocks Tran. Now Ketut is going to have to switch out here, um, because Bulu can't Oko the Ferrothon, the Ferrothon might have Gyro Ball. And yeah, looking at the teams, this Tran is really obviously going to have either Will-O-Wisp or Toxic, because he has a Reuniclus and he has no Toxic Spike support. So he wants to status Dark types like Greninja and Tita that Tran can usually lure in. So Reuniclus can potentially sweep. Um, so let's see if he goes for Toxic or Wisp, anticipating the Lari. I'm pretty sure he has one of the two, goes for Wisp. Um, now, Earthquake will actually do nothing, because he's burned and terrain is up, but Ketut might still switch out into Scissor or Reuniclus. But yeah, looking at the teams, it might be Avitita on Zuchtrest's side, because he's kind of weak to Alakazam. If he's not Avitita, he has to be T-Wave on either the Pharaoh or the Clef, I feel, to check Alakazam. Uh, Landorus is going to be Scar for speed control. This is going to be Megalari and then Haze Bulgy Pex. Reuniclus comes out. Reuniclus can wall this unless it's Draco Lari. There's a reason why Draco Lari is good because it hits Reuniclus, Alakazam, and Greninja. People don't use it often enough. Uh, I assume it's going to be Psychic Ice Beam Recover of Quick Standard Lari on this team because he's kind of weak to Gliscor. Um, like, I'm not the biggest fan of Ice Beam anymore. I like Draco more. But on this team, um, Ice Beam just makes sense because he's so weak to Gliscor. Um, we see no lefties on the Reuniclus. Ketut Thunder, they're predicting the heart into T-Tar. <laughs> um, so he's probably recover Calm Mind, Thunder, and then Psy Shock. And he's either Helmet or Cobra Berry. I'm saying this because I've seen this guy ladder with wild items on his Reuniclus. So Zuchta uh, should just crunch here, goes into T-Tar, predicting the recover. There's no reason to click Stone Edge. Um, Ketut, even if he goes in the Keldeo and Stone Edge hits it harder than Crunch, you should still always Crunch. And even if he goes Bulu, like, Crunch is always the play, but he edges, okay. And he gets Para Thundered. That sucks. Because now Ketut can stay in, and this is most likely Bantar. At first I was thinking it could be AV because of the Alakazam matchup, but um, AV Tar usually runs Rock Slide over Edge. So this definitely seems banned and he tried to break the Bulu or he wanted to hit the Keldeo harder than Bird Crunch. I'm not a big fan of that play, I would have just crunched there. And now Kutut's just going for it with Reuni knowing that it's locked in and Edge only has 8 PP and he can recover and fish for Para and he can also fish for Miss. And yeah, there's the Miss. So this is in Kutut's favor which means Zuchtrest has to switch out and come back in. Uh, eventually he will have to switch out, like staying with Tita will not get you anywhere, you have to switch. But yeah, looking at Ketut's team, uh, he already revealed rocks on Tran. The Scarfa is probably going to be the Keldeo. I don't know why he let his Pex take that hit, because if his Pex goes down... Um, okay, it's Psychic, not Psyshock. I guess he has some other mons that can deal with Clefable, so he doesn't need Psyshock. Um, but yeah, he obviously has to switch out. It goes into Ferrothon, but Ferrothon doesn't beat Reuniclus either. This just gives it another command. He has to go back into Titar. Um, not 100% sure what's going on here, but yeah... Um, on Ketut's side, the Z-move is probably on the Torn or on the Bulu. And Keldeo should be the Scarf, that's what I'm thinking. Keldeo is a bad Scarf, in my opinion, but on this team it makes some sense. So, Tita is just gonna have to click Crunch here as Ketut stays in. And he is Koba, yeah. I kinda had a feeling he was Koba. Just like I said, I've seen this guy ladder a bit. He likes the Koba and Rocky Helmet and some other wild items on his Reuniclus. And, um... Does he bank on the para here or does he switch? I think he just switches out here into either the Keldu or the Tapu Bulu and Zuchtras just has to crunch again, he doesn't really have another play. And yeah, the Pex is really low right now, so it should still be able to live a Secret Sword from Scarf Keldu, um, but only barely. And if Pex goes down, that Scissor on the other side, um, assuming, it, assuming it's Defog Torn and an SD or Bulk, not Bulk up, SD or Curse Scissor, that can be really scary for Zuchtras. Um, so he could also go hard into Clef here if he's really um, assuming that the Secret Sword is going to come out, but he just goes hard packs knowing that it can live with Secret Sword still, okay? And now we can pivot into the Clef. Um, I assume this is Scarf Keld and locked in, and Pex has Regen, so this was fine for Zuchtrest. Um, but I don't think he should have let it take that Psychic earlier, but it works for him. Now, this Clef is Command, Softball, Moonblast, and the last move is either... Uh, not Command, it's Rocks, Softball, Moonblast, the last move is either... Comment, Toxic, or T-Wave is what I'm trying to say. We don't know the last move yet. I mean, it could definitely be Comment. That's a valid option. But he's so weak to... Um, yeah, I was just going to say. He's so weak to Alakazam, so T-Wave or Toxic also makes sense. And he could have also... If this wasn't T-Wave, he could have been T-Wave on the Pharaoh as well. So I don't know what the fuck Ketut predicted there. He predicted some sort of double 
that was a bad play in my opinion, Thicket Thoughting again, he has to switch out here, and I think he's just gonna double T-Wave predicting one of the Steel types to come out, exactly, catches the Scissor on the switch, and this T-Wave means that the packs can now outspeed the Scissor. Um, on this team I assume the Scissor is gonna be a knockoff variant, because Katut has no other knockoff user, outside of Torn, actually I guess Torn might have knockoff, but he does not really like, U-turn on this team doesn't make that much sense, because he doesn't have that many breakers to U-turn out into. So I think he's um, knockoff, and this is the win condition with knockoff Ruth as the bullet punch. So I guess he can go on a Pax here. But Pax will take a good chunk from the knockoff that I assume is going to come out. Um, if he has some fist stuff, he should be able to lift this though. So now he's at 7, which means bullet punch might be a roll. Um, so Zuchtress has to switch out here, fearing the bullet punch, obviously. Because if Pax goes down, Scissor might just run through the other 5 of the team. Um, I think Ladi didn't reveal yet the last move, but it's quite obvious that the Ladi doesn't have HP 5. So I have to go Lando here, most likely. Yeah, Lando just seems like the play. Katut's probably gonna try to bullet punch, just in case Zuchtress stays in and makes a nonsense play. Makes a wild play for no reason. You have no reason to stay in, but... The yeah, you always go Landros, and I think we just pull up and just get some chip. 18. So Landros just gonna U-turn out here. Um, actually that could be Helmet Torn on Katut's side. So he might not want to U-turn and take Helmet. Uh, he could also pull a double into Pex here to try to get some more Regenerator. But he does U-turn. I mean U-turn is a fine play, because you get momentum. And now he can probably go Pex and heal it off. And just heal it to full. Like, not to full, but like, with region and all that stuff, it's gonna be super healthy after, if it recovers here. And Katut's probably forced out into Reuniclus, or, yeah, something like that, probably Reuniclus. I guess Tornadus is an option, but I didn't miss this pack, was it revealed already? Yeah, it was, it just got knocked off. I think it was Black Sludge, but I didn't really pay attention. So he just pivots out and, um, goes for rest, so Scarf rest? I do make Scarf. So he goes in the Lari there, um, what did he predict? I'm not 100 percent sure what he predicted, but now he can go for a recover or roost. And yeah, Katut's gonna switch here. Oh yeah, his Reuniclus is super low, right? So he doubled into Lari, and if if the Reuniclus is an ice beam range, then he just tried to catch the Reuniclus and he didn't want to let him heal the Reuniclus. So that play actually made sense. Doubling into Lari to not let the Reuniclus heal. Uh, but yeah, Katut's gonna have to switch and just yeah, goes in the scissor and this Lari does not have HP fire, he just roost, yeah. So Roost, Ice Beam, Psychic is revealed. Last move is obviously Earthquake, but it's not revealed just yet. So if Katut's fearing HP Fire, I guess he can scout here by going into maybe Torn or something. But honestly, it's really obvious that it's not HP Fire. And yeah, staying in is a fine play. And I don't know why the fuck Zoo... Why did he Earthquake? He predicted him to go here and to scout for HP Fire. That was like one of the wackest plays ever, dude. <laughs> why did he Earthquake? <laughs> like there's a slight, slight chance that it might be HP fire, like 0.1% chance. And even if he scouts for that, then I think he would go Torn and not Tren. Like, what? I don't think he w I would have gone Tren there if I would scout for Earthquake. So that was weird to me. Now, if, um, Pex free to go for the healing move here, the recover. Goes for T-Spikes instead. Okay, he's playing a bit dangerous, but he can afford to make that play since he outspeeds the Scissor. And next knock also doesn't kill since the um, item is already knocked. Um, Nox like doing nothing. I think it's 65 base power. Is it 60 after the items Nox? So he's just gonna heal off here. As he uses that as an opportunity to get the Reuniclus in. This para is really good. Um, this poison is really good for Katut Vert because now he cannot get parried from the clef. So I don't know if I would have gone for T spike there because now you cannot para the Reuniclus with the clef. That was questionable. I think Zuchtas loses to the Reuniclus. Like he can't really beat it anymore. His Tita is pretty much dead. Kadut just has to hit a Thunder here, and that should be able to kill the Titar. I... well... Oh, he misses! Does he crunch? Oh, he pursued it! <laughs> um, I kind of get a play, but I think crunch was, like, better. And now he can just spam Recover and fish for the Para, and when the Tita gets para then he can just click Thunder again. And Zuchtres cannot beat the Reuniclus. It sets up on the, um, Varothorn, it sets up on... The Lando, if the Lando is not, if the Lando's punishment, I guess that could help, but that's not really seen that much at the moment, because most Reuniclus run double dance, which means punishment, Lando doesn't even beat them. So what is he gonna do? Leech, he can leech sheet this, he can't, he's just giving him free setup, it's over. And yeah, he just forfeits, because um, he cannot T-wave it, since he let the T-spikes go up. 
I don't know, he just played that really questionable. <laughs> Not really sure what the fuck he was doing there. But yeah, he also got a bit unlucky, so I'm not gonna talk down too much on him. I'll see you guys with game 3, I thank you for watching, and peace out, friends.